セロカルバハルです。今日は若者言葉について話したいと思います。はい、それでは始めましょう。So today I will be talking about 若者言葉 young people's language. So in particular, I want to be talking about, I want to talk about three slang words. I will be talking about sugoi, yabai, and hampana. So let's start off with the word sugoi. So sugoi means like wow, like amazing. So let's take for example、uh, your friends getting married and you're really, really surprised when she tells you you're, you're very surprised, you act surprised. So you can say something like, You're getting married? Wow, I didn't know. In Japanese, it would be, Kekon suru no? Sugoi, shiranakata. So that's one way of saying, that's one way of using it. Another way would be if you eat something delicious and you're eating something that's really yummy and you're really liking it and surprised about it, you can say, like, This ice cream. Is so so good, so delicious. It would be in Japanese. Kono ice sugoi oishi. Like, this ice cream is so good, like, so delicious. So, that's that's sugoi. Now, I'm gonna talk about yabai, which is kind of interchangeable with sugoi. But the thing about yabai is that it also has negative and positive. Uh, connotations. So, for example, the word yabai itself comes from the word abunai, which means dangerous. Yabai can mean dangerous, risky,、uh, amazing, cool. It's kind of like the English equivalent of oh my god, like oh my god, like yabai. So, you can say something,、uh, let's start off with something negative. In English, Uh, we say sometimes, like, oh, oh my god, I forgot my homework.、Uh, in Japanese, it's Yabai, shikudai wa sure chatta. Like, oh my god, I forgot my homework. Like, this is like a negative form of using it. Or you can use a positive form, just like we use sugoi. When we describe the ice cream, we can use Yabai. So, the, the sentence we used before was, This ice cream is so delicious. So, it would be, Kono ice, yabai oishi. Like, now you replace sugoi with yabai, but pretty much you're still saying, This ice cream is so good. Kono ice, yabai oishi.、Um, so, that right there、um, is a positive way of using yabai. So, you can, it depends on how you say it, you know, the inflection, the context. You can say different ways, like, oh my god, like, yabai, 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 yabai. The same thing we can say in English for oh my god, like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, so, it can be positive or negative. The last word I want to talk to you about is hampanai. Hampanai or pane, short form pane. So, this also means like something that is awesome or extraordinary, out of this world. So, you can say, for example, an example sentence would be、um, today's, uh, today's dinner was out of this world. Uh, in Japanese, it would be Kyo no yu shoku hampanai yo. Kyo no yu shoku hampanai yo. So today's dinner was out of this world. So,、uh, yabai, sugoi, hampanai, pane. So these are pretty much interchangeable.、Um, I want you guys to have fun with them. Use them with your Japanese friends,、uh, close associates, but whatever you do, don't use these words with, for example, with like your Japanese teacher 
or somebody that's um, of authority, yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna use these words. These are kind of like wakamono kotoba, young people's language. So kyotsuke the net. So this is Marcelo signing off, and as usual, hi minasan, gamba de kudasai.